England is set to host its first ever international since opening back in 2004. It is the Four Nations champions and world champions, the Kiwis, against the Kangaroos. Game one of the 2011 Four Nations, and it's just like a northern winter, and winter actually happens tomorrow. The, the clocks go back tomorrow, Chick, so we're going to get that one sorted. It's cool, it's damp underfoot, but boy, this track is fast. This track is fast and it's hard. Now, the game up here is normally played at a slower pace, and many believe that will suit New Zealand tonight. I'm not quite so sure. Australia have a real gem in the area around the ruck, and that is Cameron Smith. Although they got a little bit of drizzle yesterday, it's been beautifully fine here today. Expect a fast-running game. Now, the Kiwis, they've certainly got massive get in Newcastle. Redemption, I wonder if it's too early to start talking about that. They've got to show something, though. Well, I think in the Newcastle Test, a lot of the young ones for New Zealand got the chance to step up from NRL to play Test football. Here, they get a second chance to see what it's really about. They need to improve and improve quickly. The defence is a key. All right, we're not too far away from kickoff. In Game One of the 2011 Four Nations from Halliwell Jones Stadium, Warrington. Richie Monty Levina, enjoy this one. Kickoff not too far away, live on Sky Sport Two. Yeah. I thought we. Um, there was a good feeling going into the game. I, I thought we prepared, you know, really well. And, um, the talk was around, you know, how much uh, depth we're sort of getting in, in New Zealand, um, the New Zealand stocks, if, if you want to call it that, um, depth of talent. We had um, the Warriors had three teams playing in the, you know, in the, on grand final day, and we've got a number of young kids, you know, coming through the under 20 competition. So there was a, I guess, a feel good uh, factor about the week, but. Um, the performance was a good reminder of, you know, of how far we we still have to go. I don't think the scoreline was, you know, was a uh, was a reminder of it, but it, it, it just shows that um, we've still got a lot of work to do. Defensively, your edge has got hammered. Uh, yeah, it's a again, it's a, it's a byproduct though of, of uh, you know a 48% completion rate. It, you know, it doesn't matter who you play. Um, you know, when you turn over 50% of the ball that you that you get, um, at some at some stage, it's, it's going to take its toll on the group. Whether it was the middle, whether it was the edges, it, it, it um, you know, the, and the edges made some poor, um, you know, poor decisions. But again, it came off the back of um, guys, the Australian ruck, you know, being allowed to sort of roll us through the middle quite, you know, quite easily. Four Nations is a very simple equation. Win two, you're in the final. Do you target each day, or do you target two? Wales and England. Um, you know, we, we target it. You know, again, you know, looking at our last performance, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not thinking about uh, uh, thinking past uh, this Friday. Liverpool's a different place, huh? I, I don't think it was always like this, Steve. I think it, um, you know, it's had a bit of a transformation or um, here, you know, quite some time ago, but only sort of briefly. And um, it it's a, looks a lot different now. So it, it's been it's been really. Uh, uh, really sort of pleasant to, to have the have the group here. Um, it's a, you know, certainly, a, a, uh, I guess, a, a city that's you know picking up with, with the new additions and the, what, what's happened to the happened to the area. We even watched a game of football on you know on Saturday night, um, which was you know, which the lads really enjoyed. So you know, it's it's been a good day for us. You're watching the Four Nations because play is about to get underway in Warrington. We have our Sky Sport commentators standing by, Stephen McIver and also Daryl Halligan. Let's get this one underway. It's the opener of the Four Nations tournament. Benji Marshall and Darren Lockyer, the respective skippers of the two Four Nations sides that opened this 2011 campaign in the north of England at Halliwell Jones Stadium in Warrington. As they come out under the main stand, which is the northern stand here at Halliwell Jones Stadium, for the first ever international to be played here. They did play an all-golds match back in 2007, but that wasn't officially a test match. This is, and it's live on Sky Sport 2 around New Zealand. Stephen Mackay with Daryl Halligan. Daligan, uh, Daryl, I mean, the, the excitement here is it's, it's, it's sort of, you can pinch it, can't you? It's somewhat traditional up here in the north. You can play, walk out onto the field side by side and I'll turn and face the crowd. Go through the formalities. It's a great part of the game up here. It takes a little bit longer to get into the game, Stephen, but it adds to the excitement. It is a war very, very cool evening here at Halliwell Jones in Warrington. Uh, the clocks go back tomorrow here in England, which means is the official start of winter. It's cool, it's damp, but the ground is very, very fast as we get set for the national anthems of both sides.
A strong crowd at Halliwell Jones here in Warrington. It holds around 13,000. We found out earlier this week that uh, Warrington actually bought this game. They had the responsibility of selling it, and they have done an admirable job with an almost sellout here. It's an old, on an old uh, brewery site, the old Tetley's Breweries here, is uh, built by the, uh, the supermarket. Amazing. It's an amazing little story. More on that and 40-20 in a week's time. But right now, the Huck is set to go. The challenge just as fearsome as it was a fortnight ago to Newcastle. Now here's hoping the result from a Kiwi perspective is a lot better than that. Eight tries to one thumping. 42 to 6, the final scoreline for Darren Lockyer's final game. Phil Bentham is in charge. He was in charge of the Newcastle test. Refereed the Challenge Cup and Super League Grand Finals in 2011. Well, set to go, Chuck. Game one of the 2011 Four Nations. Here we go. Since New Zealand comes out on everyone. And with the boys a bit of confidence and also a bit of solidarity there yeah, as man. well let's hope it turns into some defensive form for them when they come into the arm wrestle with australia simon mannering one of the more experienced players playing his 27th test tonight at 25 years right. of age he has four test tries and here's ben mutlino in the starting line for russell packer who was serving side. that one match okay, suspension and we are underway in the four nations for 2011 the defending champion New Zealand running left to right and Australia get first use of the ball through Matthew Scott. First, move! Hold it's ten, all gone very ten, quiet goal. here at Halliwell Jones. Australia just two, going through the move. early paces. They are renowned for a fast start wait, and it's something wait, that Stephen Kearney and his team have worked on trying to slow down as Sam Friday move. takes the tackle of Isaac Luke down low. Van Metalino up top. Anthony Watmo Move. almost at halfway. Hold. They're on the Goal fourth. Good on. start to their set for Australia already into the half as Paul Gallen gets the ball away for Cameron Five. Smith. Move. And they're on the last, about three inside the New Zealand half, and the first penalty given away. Dangerous and it was on the last as well. Simon Mannering holding just too long, pulling Cameron Smith off the mark, or did he milk it? Step up. Be fair to say, he milked it somewhat. Good line speed in defence from the Kiwis in that first set. Back up, hold. But the early penalty has given wait, Australia a wait. very good attacking opportunity. Well, two minutes into the game, Luke Lewis straight into Simon Mannering. One, 20 out from the Kiwis line. Hold, Cameron hold, Smith waiting. Goal, hold the mark. Goes to the right-hand side. There's Thurston. Scott. Two, 
edging their way towards the Kiwis line. 12 out now, Australia. Cameron Smith running. Gets the ball back inside. Billy Slater with some room. Five out. Trying to milk a penalty, but he is in some sort of bother. As Billy Slater. Cameron Smith with the ball. Short ball to Scott. Scott through. Scott scores. It's almost a replay of Newcastle. Inside the first two minutes, and Australia are in. Oh, disappointment. Haven't touched the football yet outside of the kickoff, the Kiwis. And with the repeat set of six courtesy of the penalty. A couple of nice offloads with Billy Slater up the middle. I want you to keep an eye on Isaac Luke here in defence. Pushes up off the line. Cameron Smith milking it. They needed to hold on. And a simple pass from dummy half. Isaac Luke couldn't affect the tackle. Straight over top goes Matt Scott. One on one. This is it, mate. Too simple, too easy, and Australia in again. That's not the start that Stephen Kearney would have wanted. Not the start he would have trained for all this week in Liverpool. And Matt Scott, in his fifth test, gets a try. That's going to hurt. It takes a win out of your sails after two sets of six in Australia. Both their first try so handy to the post as well. Boy, what a year Matt Scott's had. Built himself into the form front row of the NRL, Australia, Queensland, Cornerstone. Move from the post. And Jonathan Thurston could almost throw this one over. He's about 12 out, almost in front of the Western stand. And that is what they are doing, standing straight up, because they love to do it here in the north of England, stand in the stands. And it's the perfect start for Australia, 6-0. So all the work was done up the middle of the field as well. The first set of six all come through the middle for the Kiwis, and the second set, well, there was no difference. And Coach Tim Sheens, well, he'll have a smile on his face, and they'll get their third set of six from the kickoff. So they allow the ball to bounce, and straight away, the try scorer, Matt Scott, is into his work again. The Kiwis are really going to have to be on their game. Australia like to start fast. They're not going to want them to get a roll on. Anthony Watmo, the man who told us this week that he's been searching for coffee every morning and can't find a decent one. Gallon. And the now familiar number eight. This is the wait, wait. area where Billy Slater tried to get out of the tackle. Probably injured himself a little bit. And trying to pull the penalty. Sam McKendry on Watmo. Billy Slater, Dalian Player of the Year, up for the International Player of the Year Award Five. next Wednesday Move. at the Tower of Back London, guys. of all places. Hold. Go, Five it. and last for the Kangaroos, just inside the Kiwi it's half. A little bit of pressure on Darren Lockyer. The ball's gone high. Kevin Lock comes in, and bounces off, and it's more Australian Knocked ball. No. Knock on. Hand Knocked over. on by Australia, so it's Kiwi ball. Back up. Back Interesting up. call, this, okay. the kick from Lockyer. We watched him yesterday in the captain's run, putting high floaters up. As Nightingale comes out of dummy half. Here's the end of the kick. Ooh, Sam Fido, did he get a hand in there? Well, let's just say that's the rub of the green for the Kiwis. And it's 6-0 Australia. Only five gone in this first game of the 2011 Four Nations. Sikamanu. Isaac Luke. He's looking up, looking for something. He didn't get it. Gets tackled by Paul Gallant and also Cameron Smith. Here's Jeremy Smith. Smith almost gets upended. And it's the last now. They're 10 inside the Australian half. A chance for New Zealand to do something. Benji goes to the air. The chase is good. There's pressure on Uwate. And he's put that ball down. Knock on Kiwi ball. Well, there's a difference from last week. The ball goes up, players in the area contesting, even Sika Manu's there. Kevin Locke doesn't even get close to the ball. But the fact that the Kiwis are there and in the area adds a little bit of pressure for the Newcastle winger. And he puts it to ground. Takes a bit of a gloss of his debut from last. Uh, he scored a double. <laughs> I was so interested to see just how many yards the Kiwis made in that set of six. Because in the test in Newcastle, they made very few yards. But they made good yards. Good 40 metres before the kick went up. So they're somewhat on their games. Dummy scoops. Out of running. Uh, dummy half, sorry. Will be the key. Kick it out, Brock. 
All right, scrum penalty. And it's a real chance now for New Zealand to get on the board and level this test up. Some of the decision is Ben Martellino carries the ball forward to the 10 meter line. A bit staggered to the right, sharper to the left, the Kiwis, and that's the way they go. Kieran Ford running at the line. Here comes Sikamanu. Foran screaming at his troops. There's a dart out of dummy half. Lewis Brown just pushed back. And they lose a little bit of ground. Some sting in this Kiwi side at the moment. McKendry, the Penrith Panther, barging his way forward. Couldn't get the ball away. Australians now scrambling to the left-hand side. The Kiwis go to the right, benching Marshall. Cut out ball to Gerard Bill that goes behind. Nightingale picks it up, finds Kevin Locke. Isaac Luke, little goose step. Straight into Sam Thide, Luke Lewis. Fifth and last for the Kiwis. They've lost ground, they're 15 out. Marshall with the grubber. Short in goals though, and it goes dead. Pace that out actually, it's about six good paces. The end goal. I like the speed of the game. It suited New Zealand when they got down to this area, and even though a ball went behind one of the players, they had the composure to get to their last playoffs and the kick too long from Benji Marshall. Iwate takes the ball from a standing start and reaches about 100 miles an hour, but gets stopped. 12 out from halfway Australia, leading 6 0. Let's just hold it, come on. Gallon pushed back by Ben Matsulino. So the defence is starting to look a lot stronger than it was in Newcastle. Watmo bounces off one has Martellino down Four around his move. legs he's about five Ready, out from go. halfway Cameron Smith Outside. he did a lot of practice on the captain's run with this kicking game and that's not a bad one how's he judged it he's judged it perfectly and Kevin Locke's gonna have to work himself out of the end goal oh yes what a shot by Luke Lewis you know that kick from Smith was just perfect and in these conditions, I wanted to see who the big players for New Zealand would be. I thought Kevin Locke with his return game in the slippery conditions would be one player who would absolutely shine. He causes people problems on dry tracks. So on wet tracks, he's the one to watch. We spoke to him before the game, and Kevin Locke was excited about this game. He couldn't wait to get out in the middle of the park, considering that he can motor. And this is a very fast deck. Isaac Luke quickly out of dummy half. Make some good metres. Last tackle though for New Zealand, they're well inside their half, they look to Benji Marshall for the kick. Six it long and catches Billy Slade just a little bit out of position. And he slips a little bit, so that just gives you an indication. It's around 8-10 here in the evening. The dew is pretty thick on the ground already. Uate. He looks for Willie Tonga. And Tonga is well held, 25 out from his line. Wait, wait. Goal, two. Lockyer. Darius Boyd bounces off one, doesn't get past Isaac Luke and Sikamanu, but the Newcastle fly really is extremely tough. Thiday, thumped by guess who? Kieran Ford, not afraid of anyone, big or small. Smith for Thurston, Thurston comes back and fight for Watmo, he's well tackled. So good defensive set by the Kiwis, they're on their last just inside their own half. Lockyer goes to the boot and straight down the throat of Kevin Locke, who look to wind up a little bit they have such an effective left kicking game don't they lock you from the Back midfield and then cameron smith out of dummy half a high tackle there from friday on kevin lock and another one great carry by lewis brown there here's the shot that was missed by referee phil bentham game on Luke for manu manu just a little bit of an angled run back inside gets them into the australian half again this is a different Kiwi side from a fortnight ago to Sam McKendry just Four. takes the ball Move. straight. 40 yards. Isaac Second Luke market. straightens up. Five. Strong Move. carry by Isaac Luke. Five and last for New Zealand Hold. now. Goal. Almost 11 gone, trailing by six. Kieran Four Clear. will go to the air. They're going to test Uwate out again on five by lower. It's Billy Slater that takes the ball and Move. takes it cleanly. Nice cover. Goal. Great kick from Kieran Four. Yep. But the run from Isaac Luke and dummy half Move. on the fifth plate. Wait, but completing their wait. six, contesting Goal. the football. What no? Three, move! Just have to work themselves Hold. out of their half again. Hold. Goal. Three. Here comes Paul Gallon. Used to seeing him in the 13, but now represented the football. Move. Coaches are liking him in the front row. He'll go wait. for 80 minutes Goal. if he has Goal. to. 
Smith finds Thurston. Thurston short ball back inside for Luke Lewis. It's a, a player they've used Five, a number three, of occasions. And oh, again, they will complete the set just inside their own half. Lock here again with the left boot. Lock covering it, is it? He's going to do the bounce, but picks it up beautifully. Tiptoes almost towards the left. Touchline fires one across. Five by lower now, but the Australian line is across. But five by lower decides to put the gas on. And five by lower almost gets away. Thaiday comes in with a second effort, and the penalty's given. Some enterprise shown by the Kiwis that. from inside their own line. Oh, long flat passes from the right, right across to the left, and Fai Fai Loa puts the gas on and takes Tonga on. Tonga just Four. coming up with a handle on him, and Thaiday in for a slamming tackle over the top. The call illegal. Great stuff from the young fellas. He young back three, shifts it to Nightingale, who pushed in, and then Fai Fai Loa found a little bit of room on the outside of Tonga and went for the afterburners. Go. You used the word redemption in our uh, piece in game day about the, the Kiwis. I know Fafalo didn't have the best of games. He looked very nervous when he arrived at the ground. He just took a, a soft little walk across the, the turf here at Halliwell Jones to get himself sorted. He looks okay now as Ben Marcelino carries it towards the 30-meter line inside the Australian half. Now that's something that Stephen Kearney will not want to see. The one thing he spoke to us about was the completion rate last time out. It was at 46%. Well, that'll just be a case of wet ball. But he wants that to improve. Oh, Zach Luke just switching off as the hands just couldn't quite scoop the football up. Ended up bumbling it along the ground. Collectively, the Kiwis cannot afford to come up with more errors than the Australians to put themselves in a position to win this match. They need to be on the fewer error count at the end of the match. Heads in. So Australian ball, 32 out from their line. Slater into the back line, puts the step on, there's Willie Tonga. One, Not going to get past. Two. And hold. Lewis wait, Brown. Wait, go, one. Uwate. Two. They've got Uwate Move. pretty well covered at this hold. particular point in time. Hold. Go. Hey, watch your feet in there. Short side ball, there's Billy Slater, but the ball's gone to ground. The Australians weren't ready for it. There was an opportunity yeah. there. They count the numbers. Fai Fai Loa had to push in. Just takes a little bit too long, just a fraction too long from Slater. In fact, the sleight of hand sees the ball propelled forward. There was an opportunity there. So it's just the little things. And this will be interesting because this is a tournament game now. Different part of the world, different conditions. And both sides will just have Heads to work this out. On, we need one more. Interesting to note, we see a lot of players slipping over on the greasy surface here. Five Fai Loa slipped over, turning to chase in the well, previous play of the ball. Yeah. New Zealand ball, they go the short side. Five Fai Loa winds himself up. Australia trying to drag him onto that northern touchline. Unable to do so at this point. Almost a quarter of an hour gone, no change to the score. A try inside the first two minutes to Matt Scott, but nothing since to either side. New Zealand had their chances. They'll be looking for more. They look a far more composed team than they were in Newcastle. Sam McKendry shovels the ball out. Oh, Jeremy Smith bounced off the tackle of Luke Lewis about another good 10 metres. Cheap shot coming from Anthony Watmo. Crowd loving it. They'll tell the referee everything, as they do in Super League. Simon Mannering can't get past Jonathan Thurston. Kevin Locke looks up, flings a one-hander up to Ben Mutlino, his Warriors teammate. He's looking behind him, flops one behind his back to Kevin Locke again. He gets one behind his back. Mutlino to... Oh, and he's given it away this time. One pass, two minutes. Great play. Nice interchange of pass. Out the back ball seems to be the one. The last one back to Scott, just one too many. It went Locke, Mutlino, back to Locke, back to Mutlino, and then to Scott. Thurston. Short ball for Luke Lewis. Runs straight into Simon Mannering and Benji Marshall. Dragged back. Good defense by the Kiwis. There is a lot more latitude shown in the ruck here. In the slippery conditions. A lot of arms hanging on the ball. It's slowing up the play of the ball. Third time in as many occasions. The Kangaroos will kick on the last inside their own. Jonathan Thurston goes down for a shot. Hang on. Play going on behind us. Matt Scott and Jeremy Smith, but it's still game on. Ball's gone to ground, and there's a bit of a brouhaha in the middle of the field, and Phil Bentham doesn't know anything about it. Now he calls time off. There was nothing in this. And Matt Scott came in on this. Jeremy, there, look, there's nothing there. Hollywood from 
Jonathan Thurston. Then Matt Scott says, well, I'm not happy about this. It wasn't really a legitimate There's charge to actually Phil Bentham make a was tackle. watching it as it happened. He and did nothing about it. And Thurston tries to milk it as he does. Thiede okay. bang over the top of Fi Fi Loa. I'm intrigued yeah, to see how this one contact. goes because Phil Bentham had his eye on it as it happened. Okay. Touch to right judges now, this evening, right James Charles and Paul Holland. Ben Thaler is the video four. referee. I've not seen what's happened here. Four. For one more. For the player on the play. Hold on to the player on the play. And it's Pedersen down there, is it? Yeah, just one second. Well, fortunately for the players, there's not much doing there apart from a bit of push and shove and a bit of grab around the collar. Okay, we're going to take a late challenge there. So he's taking out. It's a late challenge back there on the kicker. Okay, so the is where the ball is. That's it here. Well, you've heard it. So Jeremy Smith gets pinged. But it's a poor call on the fact that Jeremy Smith realises he can't actually charge a football down. So he turns his body and basically is in the air. So how do you stop your momentum moving forward into the play? Look, we don't even have to talk about this because this is simple gamesmanship. It's pure gamesmanship. Back up. So it's game Jeremy, back you on. Need to be careful. Go. 6 0 Australia lead on the back of a penalty. Akila Uwate. Gets Australia to an 18 out from the and Kiwi hold, line. Hold. Go on. From the left hand side through Anthony Watmo. And the ball's gone to ground. Zero. There is a god. Wait, wait. Go. Isaac Luke, Benji Marshall yeah. shovels it out to Gerard Beale. First. Move! Gerard Beale looking to play the oh, ball, unable to oh, do so. Chris Lawrence all over him. Simon Mannering. And New Zealand get a penalty. Australia up inside the 10. I'm trying to figure out who this crowd's supporting. Cheer goes up when Australia gets penalised. Well, there's been many famous Australians and Kiwis play here in the Warrington Wolves, formerly the Warrington Wires. Yes, we'll know our own, very own Logan Swan, who's part of the Sky Team, will be Hold very familiar. He might be familiar with this ground. Yes, he will. Louis Anderson, who's now after cut Lana, as the Kiwis take the ball inside to the Australian wait, half, wait, 40 out from their line, on. trailing by six still. McKendry. Two. Five to Move. six metres from the Big Ten with Panther. Wait. It's okay. Isaac Luke for Benji Marshall. Benji Marshall starting to run. The cutout play for Kieran Ford is running a lot more than he did. Third in move. Newcastle. Hold goal three. Lewis Brown. He finds Ben Mutalino. Ben Mutalino has made a huge difference to this pack in starting. Move. And some real power. Foreign for Jeremy Smith. Short ball for McKendry. Looked to get the ball away. Unable to do so. Five at last for New Zealand. Can they score? Marshall with a bullet out to the side. Forward pass. And a forward pass is, pass is called. Great play from New Zealand. Working so, so hard. He's caught a forward pass. I think the Where pass was flat at best. And then it hit the outside arm stuck. of Gerard Beal and might have gone forward. No, Opportunities for the Kiwis. As Benji Marshall can't quite thread the needle. Two, the fight and the play the ball will be so paramount in this game because they're holding on a little bit longer you need to fight a little bit Three. more and therefore Move. it becomes a little bit dangerous with the slippery Hold. ball as well Friday holds it waits for Lockyer Lockyer almost backs Four. through a gap doesn't Move. get it gets a shot too from Ben Martellino wait oh Hold. here's trouble Lockyer's in trouble he's holding his left shoulder keep an eye on that as Thide can't get past the halfway move. line, and yet again, Old just inside Old their own Tim. half, Wait, Australia God will have five. to get rid of the ball. Jeremy. It's a horrible play, the ball. Gets away with it. And Cameron Smith puts a beautiful kick to about eight out from the Kiwi line. The skills of Cameron Smith. He shifted out to the left and kicked that across to the right. Banana kicks it to the corner. Just screws it around nicely. Lands at five metres out. You mentioned Darren Lockyer at the captain's run yesterday, Chucky putting the kick up. The first thing that we saw 
Cameron Smith do outside of the whole team so we'll start so just check, checking the, the, the distances possession. to the, the touch don't line the money when you're in he's got a good radar has Cameron Smith no, off the force. Almost yeah, through the yeah, first 20 minutes in game one of the 2011 Four Nations. It's Australia 6, New Zealand okay, yet to score. There. They've had their Back chances. Okay. It's a solid Hold. performance so far by both Touch. these sides. Lewis Brown, First. what a carry. Move. He is playing strong Hold. football this evening. Mannering. Thrown straight Two. at Cameron Smith. Move. Isaac Goal. Lucas Goal. waiting. Goal. Two. Finds Kieran for and Sikamanu. Sikamanu. Oh, he's hard to Move. get down, isn't he? Three. Go. Mind you, if you weighed 108 kilograms and thighs like that, you'd be hard to tackle two chop, not that you ever were. Hold, hold. Almost at halfway on the fourth for New Zealand. Matalino. Well tackled. Cameron Go Smith down. and Anthony Watman. The ball's gone Play. loose, and it's away. Move. Phil Bentham has called play on. New Zealand had better be zero, really zero, careful here. Zero. Okay. Thurston, back inside for Lewis. One. Move. You'll see that all night. Hold. Lewis hanging Hold. out on that left edge. Go. Smith. Shillington's on in 16. Two. Move. Hold. Go. Smith for Thurston. Thurston holding. Still holding. Going. Three. Didn't win Move. the show and go this time, go Jonathan away. Thurston. Wait, wait. Tackle three. three. Very close now, Australia. Short side play by Cameron Smith. Four. Wrestle Move. to the deck. Line. Can't wait. wait. You chopping him in. You chopping him in. Four. Go. Benji Marshall slowed the play down quite nicely there. Lockyer play put the kick in. It's been played out by Isaac Luke with the. Oh, he's knocked the ball on. It's back to one again, so more defence required by New Zealand. Oh, big play, Isaac Luke got his foot to the ball to start with. And then the chase, and it was Luke Lewis who just outstripped him. More possession for Australia. Australia far from perfect at the moment as they go to the right-hand side through Sammy Thaiday. Sam Thaiday still rolling and bowling. And hold. Cameron Smith is waiting. Away, Smith looks for Thurston. Thurston holds, shows and goes again. This time, short ball for Luke Lewis. Well tackled by Simon Mannering. Thurston alone. No. Move. New Zealand on alert. It's tackle four for Australia. Leading by six. Cameron Smith with a little kick through, but it's too far. This time, those short and goals work in favour of the Kiwis. It is the first mistake I've seen Cameron Smith make close to the line. As Lewis Brown takes off and is away. They're going to have to be awake. Lewis Brown's got something on him. And now the penalty. Anthony Watmo trying to slow things down. Pushes Lewis Brown on the back. 60 metres, no ball. It can sometimes be a frustrating game up here in the Northern Hemisphere. Nice pass from Nightingale. Sends it off to Brown. He's ready to go. Catches the, ki uh, the kangaroos unawares. And then a quick play of the ball. Does he watch Fifi Lara? Or should I say sides, Nightingale? He basically pushes Louis to, to get the ball the back. The 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 it's a slight variation. The it really slow to try to exploit it earlier. Luke now for Simon Mannering. Simon Mannering. Exactly the same oh, tackled by Luke Lewis. Lewis. Throws both everything into the tackle hold down hold low on the Warriors captain. Luke for Marshall. Here comes Fui Fui Moi Moi. His first charge in the official 2011 Four Nations. And that's a better run from Fui. Goal two. Luke running. Now he finds Kieran Foran giving plenty of space around. Here comes Lockett at the back line. Lewis. Here's Jared White our Hargraves, his first touch. Here's the bit of mongrel that the Kiwis love to bring in. Jeremy Smith straight ends. Then they came out of the right hand side. Benji Marshall. This is Gerard Beale. Puts a step on. Gerard Beale goes close. Kicking for Kieran Foran and finds Sam Dada who's dropped the ball and it's a Kiwi ball back to Kieran Foran so they'll get another set on attack. Zero, away. Kevin locks down Groggy, keep an eye on that too. They go to the left hand side, Benji Marshall stepping, Benji's dancing, short ball Foran, sandwiched by two Australian forwards. Luke, Luke, Moy Moy was looking for the bump and run but got bumped back by Anthony Watmo Stay back. Locks waiting he's fine 
lock for Jeremy Smith. Jeremy Smith, short ball for Simon Mannering. He's passed it straight to Jonathan Thurston. Just not clicking at the moment. When they set the structure up around the back there, the passes need to be so spot on. Smith caught that ball behind him. It took away a little bit of time, and therefore Mannering overran it. Just the little things. Work out a dummy half. Get that first pass correct. Kiwi's looking sharp. Strong shot again by Kieran Four. And where does he find those on Paul Willie Tonga this time? Here's Akula Oate with some room to move and some space. Goes straight through Sukumanu. And to get past Joe White or Hargraves, they were Louis Brown. Didn't like the tackle, was looking at the touchies. Shillington. One of the big units that comes off the bench. Stand. Five and last. Cameron Smith to the boot. Straight down the throat of Jason Nightingale. He steps and just goes run straight at Darren Lockyer who lets him go. Lovely work from Nightingale. I watched him on tackle four. He dropped himself back, got himself ready to field the ball on the full. Good run to return it. Now five five lower coming in. Kevin Lock at dummy half. So the back three doing their job. Hold goal. Here's Thomas Lulawayan now in at acting half. His first touch in the Four Nations. The Wigan player is Moy Moy. Oh, straight at Cameron Smith. Don't you love that? <laughs> Did not want a bar of it. Back up, hold, go. Lula, while waiting, finds a skipper, Benji Marshall. Benji Marshall's kicking. He goes straight to the arms of Billy Slater, who finds Darius Boyd, who can motor. He's running a crossways. Now he straightens things up. Move. Hold, Tom. Go. Here's Uwate. Well handled by Jeremy Smith, Lewis Brown, Lockyer, for Tonga. He runs it wide out Hargraves. He throws him onto his back. Hold! Wait! 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 Thurston. Run out the back door for Billy Slater. Billy can't get past Benji, nor can he get past Simon Mannering. Gets the ball away, though, to Chris Lawrence. Lawrence is still going. Gets the ball to Darius Boyd. Takes on Lulawai. Gets past Lulawai, but not Nightingale. Move. Hold. Go. Hands time. Thurston. Hands get him out. Shillington. He's Five. well handled. Move. 20 out from the New Zealand line, Wait. leading by six Five Australia. Goal. They come the left-hand side through Thurston. Okay. Thurston puts the ball into the air. Nightingale's waiting. Knock on. Zero. Knock on call. It's more ball. See T-Rex on there. Tony Move. Williams in 17 for Australia. Just stay back. So more oh, defence required by New Zealand. Dangerous period as well. Just Move. slow for the defensive line to get off the line. On the line. Cameron Smith, what will he go? Left or right? He goes left. Cameron Smith on his own. Two. No. Six nil, heading towards the half hour. Jonathan Thurston finds Darren Lockyer. That shoulder's fine. He holds ball back inside for David Shillington. Ten out. Smith waiting. Again, he comes to the left hand side. Thurston finds T Rex. He barges over one, barges over two. Has he scored or is he held up? Wow, Tackle three, this will be a save if it Just is a save in, on three. We know he's a man mountain, T-Rex. Then he comes and buries his head down low. Marshall on one side, Smith on the other. Onto the ground as he lost the football. Is there a hand on it? Now that's, that's a good call. Watch closely. Does he have control of the ball? You'd have to believe he's lost that. Well, there, it comes off foot and then he loses control of the ball. There's actually the hand of Jeremy Smith. The right hand of Jeremy Smith somehow torpedoes in towards the football, which then pushes the football onto the angle. Oh, well, Ben Thaler has the job. Let's take a look. He's given it. Try Tony Williams, and he's been on about one minute. 10 nil kick to come and that's his first try in international football so just a passage of play where a couple of mistakes from new zealand and the sting out of their defense sees them a little bit slower off the line and offer okay, some man. opportunities to the big man tony williams just his second touch of the, the game it was the first time they'd been exposed and beaten 
on the right hand side the left for Australia and as Darius Boyd goes into play they put a kick up on the back of it it's contested of course and Nightingale can't come up with the cherry first touch for Williams was there a little handoff and then straight over the top of Benji Marshall whose line speed on that side had got up well but he couldn't affect the tackle so a big smile from the man that won a premiership ring and re-signed for Manly for another two years after that premiership win Tony Williams as Jonathan Thurston looks to add the extra two points he's 22 out swings in it beautifully just a nice little soft banana websites around New Zealand and around the world there's this incredible kick that he does for much on the goal line here it is again Tony Williams straight through Benji Marshall how do you stop 118 kilograms with difficulty is the answer as Tony Williams puts them further ahead 12 nil Australia lead in game one of the 2011 four nations from Warrington Shillington with the ball meets up with Fui Fui Moi Moi and Jeremy Smith Scott. Two. Move. Hold ten. Hold ten. Not happy with the tackle of White O'Hara Hargraves. Still having a word with him as the ball is carried forward by three. Luke Lewis. Move. Back up. Fui. Hold. On three. Go. Smith for Shillington. Another carry. Straight Four. to Fui again. So it's Move. Fui on Back Shillington ten. too. Hold. Go. Thide. Just hits the gas as soon as he picks that ball. Just inside the New Zealand half. Last tackle for Australia. Thurston this time with the kick. White O Hargraves tackled him down low and then have a little bit of a cuddle on the halfway line. There's nothing in it. Thurston just holding on to Hargraves as he gets up. Doesn't like being tackled after kicking the football. It went down really low. There's nothing in it. Foreign for Lewis Brown. Lewis Brown almost stops to a standstill on the tackle of Willie Tonga and Darren Lockyer. Lulawai for Moi Moi. Not getting a chance to wind up as Fui. About five out from halfway. They're on tackle for New Zealand, trailing by 12. Four and for Marshall. Marshall swings one wide to Nightingale. He puts a step on Darius Board and not able to get past him or Jonathan Thurston. Beal waiting and acting half. Marshall goes to the air under a little bit of pressure. It's come off the side of his boot. And they let it allow it to bounce. It's picked up this time by Darius Boyd, who tries to get away from Foran. Does so, but can't get away from Beal or Locke. Back up, Kiwis. Goal, that's it. Hold up. The last play from Benji Marshall sees one of his poorer kicks as he's trying to put. Up a high bomb, put a little bit of pressure, pressure it's very hard on this Australian it's side. We haven't faced any in the last five off. minutes. Seems quicker for on that occasion. Oh, Chris oh, Lawrence. Well, the New Zealand has been speaking, pulled for inside the, the ten. White are Hargraves and both Sikamano had their radar pretty much locked on Chris Lawrence. And they got it wrong, and they got caught for coming inside the ten too quickly. And look at that for a very solid kick again. And this is the kicking game that'll hurt the Kiwis if they're not careful. Let's go. Friday. He's tackled by Sikamanu. Tim Sheen should be pretty happy with his charges so far as we head towards half time. Lockyer. Here's big Keith Galloway who scored on debut. This is only test number two for the Tiger. Smith. Looks for Thiday, starts from a standstill, runs into a wall of black and white. Five out just inching their way towards the New Zealand line. Smith looks up, sees Matt Scott, gets it back to Smith. Here's Galloway. Lots of numbers, but they wrap him up. He was turning to try and get the offload away. Didn't get it. Stay back, stay back. Smith is looking to his left, but he's going to go to his right. He's got Matt Scott waiting again. He's loved to score tries. Lockyer running at speed. Here's Billy Slater coming in. There's Awate. Awate, will he get in? Ooh, goes out. Touching straight up with the flag. The tackle from Fifi Lower was more like a missile. Watch the legs. Facing in reverse, backing lights on. Knee has touched the ground. You watch Fai Fai Lau go here on this tackle. But head and also, front. But also look at the cover of Kevin Locke. 
Kevin Locke came up and he had that covered. Good defence from the Kiwis. Make sure we hold these tens, guys. Steve McNamara, the England coach, his team play Wales at the Lee Sports Village tomorrow. Going to go and have a look at that one being refereed by our very own Henry Taranara, his very first internationally. He's highly regarded as Henry is one of the up and coming referees, both in the NRL and now internationally. Pretty excited about it, too. Important passage of play, just five before the break. New Zealand yet to trouble the scoreboard. Matt Scott puts some extras on Jared White, our Hargraves. That'll be a good battle. Stuck in there. Yeah, he's stuck in there. That's fine, too. Lula White for Moy Moy. Moy Moy just backs through, makes a pretty good five or six metres. Then he's lifted back, back by back. Tony Three, Williams. Galloway still over him. Lula White for Ben Matalino. Matalino will play the ball. 15 out from halfway. Almost 35 minutes gone in this game. Marshall with a short ball for Moy Moy. Bang! On his back. Lido says, take that. Wait. Galloway adds the extras. Lulawai now inside the 40. It's not going to do much except roll on the arms of Darius Boyd. Ran away from Billy Slater. Now Billy Slater has the ball. And this time Kieran Smith gets him. And Kieran, sorry, excuse me, Kieran Foran is going to be penalised for the high shot. That wasn't much of a high tackle. Seen a couple worse in this match. It's more of a grab than anything. Pushed up on the inside. Comes up off the football. No malice in it. You've got a full body to wear, mate. You're going straight to the neck. So it's errors that are co costing the Kiwis plenty of territory. Williams puts a bit of a goose step on, runs into Ben Martellino. Needs three of them to stop him. And all three are pretty big men, too. Go. Back away, come on. Matt Scott straightens, takes a shot from Hargrove, says that's the best you've got. Move. I'll have some more, thanks. Hold. Go two. Smith, ball back inside for Luke Lewis. He three. gets chopped down Move. by Fui Fui Moi Moi. On the third, Time here's Jonathan Thurston looking for the gap, finds Williams. He does find a gap, it's yawning. Back inside for Thurston. And does he get the ball down? One might think. That is a try of the Tony Williams bust. Thurston goes in just before half time. So the penalty given in Australia. Kept themselves again. Tony Williams, a hole to seem to open up for him. Australia have been doing some unders through the middle of the ruck, which created all the difference and tied the ruck defenders out. Making New Zealand short. On their right, Thurston taking it straight to the line. An overread from Nightingale and also Beale. Sees no one on Williams. And unselfish, really, finding the person who puts him in the hole on the inside. The cover tackle from Mannering, was it? Nearly saved the day. But finally, he finds the grass. All just a little too easy on the back of the big beast. The man they call T-Rex. Tony Williams sets up Jonathan Thurston for another Australian four-pointer. And that scoreboard just starting to tick over a little bit too regularly for the Kiwis. They'll be looking forward to half-time, which isn't too far away. Thurston with the chance now to add to his own try. A little bit further out, about 26 out from that Western grandstand. He puts such a bend on the kick from the right-hand side of the football field for him he aims at a good the ball is actually facing towards the Gillette signs a good 15 meters outside the right post you watch what sort of shape he'll get on this should we see how smooth it is Daryl is he going to bring it around no he doesn't but you are right he was aiming it towards the Gillette signs no extras added, 16-0 Australia lead New Zealand in game one of the 2011 Four Nations. And this is how it happened. Jonathan Thurston finding a huge meters, hole guys. for Tony oh, Williams. Guys. And then Thurston finishes off despite the almost try-saving tackle of New Zealand. More ball for Australia, more big men in green and gold. This time it's Keith Galloway. A little under 90 seconds to play in the first half. 16-0, Australia lead. Thigh day. Two, move! 
Forward down low, Whitehouse oh, Hargraves oh, over the top. It was, came on the back on, of this. Man, Again, on, more lazy play by New Zealand is costing them. Three, Had a couple of those let Wentz. go in the first half against New Zealand. So the square up may come. Luke Lewis. Again, there's that run you talk about. Four, He's stopped by Fu Fu Moy Moy and Whitehouse oh, Hargraves. Scott. Gee, he's good. You can understand why he's considered now one of the best front rows in the game. Averages about 115 metres a game. As Cameron Smith just dribbles one down into the hands of Kevin Locke, who sizes up the opposition, tries to put a step on it as well. Tackled by Cameron Smith and Jonathan Thurston. There's a little bit of niggle in this game. Just see it cropping up once in a while. Nightingale. Mannering. Here's Gerard Beale. Runs straight to the biggest man he can find in Matthew Scott gold, and Keith gold, Galloway. Gold. Crowd pretty quiet here at Halliwell Jones Stadium is Kieran Ford. Oh, yes! Luke Lewis, another great shot on Kieran Ford, who takes a little bit of a dislike to it and gets a little pat on the head from his manly teammate. As Kevin Lock almost snaked through on a little short ball from Benji Marshall. Five and last for New Zealand. It finds Benji Marshall, goes to the air on the hooter. Uwate's under it, takes it well. They better stop him. And that they do. Half time here at Halliwell Jones in Warrington. And Australia against the defending Four Nations champions, New Zealand, are in a comfortable position at this particular point in time on the back of tries to Scott, Williams, and Thurston. It's 16 0 Australia. Of wisdom from Tim Sheens. He'd be a happy man because the Kangaroos are leading the Kiwis by 16 points to zip. The Kiwis looking a little dejected earlier, but the Kangaroos would certainly have a, a spring in their step as they head into the second 40 minutes of this opener. The Kiwis were certainly in this match leading into uh, midway through the first half, but at the moment Stephen Kearney knows exactly what he needs to say to his players. I think what he needs to say is probably get in there, out-muscle them, toughen up and start hurting the Australians, I think, Monte. Yeah, sometimes we can be, you know, overcomplicate the great game of rugby league. It's simple. Sometimes you have to run hard and tackle. Oh, we are underway in the second half of this first Four Nations match for 2011 and Australia running left to right lead 16 points to nil on the back of three tries to nil against the defending champions in New Zealand, Stephen McIver and Daryl Halligan here at the Halliwell Jones Stadium in Warrington, the north of England. And errors is one area that Stephen Kearney will have talked about a lot at half-time, Chuck, to cut down. Certainly is, and also adjusting to the play of the balls, the wrestle. And I'll reiterate it again, the wrestle for New Zealand. There is a lot of latitude there. They can hold the Australians down just as long as they are holding them down in the first half. Kiwis have come out with real purpose already. They're on tackle four, but they're still pretty much deep in their own half as Ben Martellina tries to get them out of a little bit of trouble. They're 10 away from halfway. And they're on the last. Benji Marshall with Cameron Smith putting pressure on him, gets the kick away. The kicking game of the Kiwis has to improve in the second half as well as Billy Slater puts the afterburners on. Cameron Smith's kicking game was superior in that first 40. Some 300 kicking metres for the Australians to New Zealand's just 100 kicking metres in the first half. And that was a good kick from Benji Marshall because it found space and it was about 40 metres. So Australia with the ball now. They are eager to reclaim this Four Nations crown as Aquila Uwate thumps into Thomas Lulawai and Fui Fui Moi Moi. Tim Sheens never looks a happy man. Smith, ball back inside for Luke Lewis. That's a play they just use over and over again and always seem to have profit with it. Stephen Kearney just wondering how his team can get back into this game as Matt Scott has wrestled to the deck. They're on the last Australia. They're 42 out from the New Zealand line. Goes to Jonathan Thurston. Oh, he's ducked under a, a tackle of Jared Whitehouse. Hargraves has been called a shoulder. This time the kick comes from Matt Scott. Comes off nicely for Aquila Uate. He gets the ball away for Luke Lewis, who drops it dead cold. Matt Scott is going to get berries for that. Yeah, it's just there where Sam is. All front, low, front rowers love to show us their kicking game. Australia. Uate played the football. Luke Lewis on the inside. 
They cough it up and give New Zealand an opportunity. First, 25 lose. out from their own line. Carried by Hold. Lewis Brown, who's looked strong in this game. Foreign for Manu. Manu puts a step on, gets past Lockyer, can't get past Uwate. Finally, who he flips Two. over the shoulder. Lulawai finds Matalino at pace. Great First. carry by Big Ben. Bang goes Aquila. Four for Marshall. Marshall holding. Then he finds Kevin Lockett at the back line. That's Beal. Beal for Nottingale with some space. Nottingale still going. It's been touched, picked up by Lock, but it goes to ground. There is just another sign of what this Kiwi team is capable of when they hang on to the ball. Classic football to their left. The decoy, the late pass from Marshall, the hands from Locke to Beal, and then he put Nightingale away. And just this pass here, back into Kevin Locke. Just start, too guys. low for him. Hey, he spilled it. it Great yeah. play. Defensively for New Zealand yeah. on the right-hand side someone where they had well, problems yeah. in the first half with Tony yeah. Williams on the left. I just wonder if they should swap Beal and Benji Marshall over. We saw Sikamanu come down the edge here, and he ran at Darren Locke here. That's what they do on the left, the Australians. Darius Boyd with the ball into Simon Mannering. It's a real shot thrown by New Zealand. And it looked good, just couldn't finish it off. Thide into Lulawai, into Waida Hargroves, who wrestles them onto his back. Release. I don't hold. Go to. Smith. Galloway. Gets it away for shoot, Billy shoot. Slater. There's now a bit of a dust up between Waida Hargroves and Galloway, right in centre field. Move. Back away. Now they're apart, finally. Scott running around. Wider Hargraves takes a shot from Moy Moy. Big boys are getting a bit grumpy out there in the middle. It's good to see. Cameron Smith, that's going to go straight to Jason Nightingale, who had to... Whoa! Fires one across to... Boom! Kevin Locke. Gosh, I never get a chance to say he almost slipped as Locke got, got a ball that came way across in front of him. And it had to be preconceived to ship the ball in this position once they've had the kick. Maybe it's because of the greasy conditions. And once the Australians are tracking one way, if they have to then turn and go the other way, they could possibly slip over. Yeah, and it also could have come off really badly. An Australian down. It's Luke Lewis. He slowly gets back up. Waita Hargraves. He gets thumped. He's throwing himself at everything. Hold. Taken Hold. down beautifully by Chris on, yeah. Lawrence. Nightingale. This is Simon Mannering. Fui Fui Moi Moi. Simon Five. Mannering hanging Move. out of that right hand side. That's where T Rex is running. Wait, Sam. Goal, that's it. Well done. Lula wide there on the last. Benji Marshall good, for the good. chip for Kevin Locke, who just doesn't really get to it at all. Here's Okula Uate who gets taken down. Stand up! That set of six for the Kiwis before they put the kick in had only made 25 yards. And then they tried the attacking kick, the little chip. Should have been long early in the second half. Hold. Goal, two. First and for Uate. He runs at Kieran Foral. He knows he's going to get tackled there. He's one of the, the fiercest tacklers in the NRL. Wait, wait. Goal, three. Smith for Thida, who's waiting. Steps off that left, steps off the right. All in the Four. blink of an eye. Move. He gets slammed on his back by Sam McKendry, also Ben Matalino. Poor play of the ball. That's just a poor play of the ball, and they get caught out. I've been so impressed with Ben Matalino today. 